Hello guys, in this video I'm going to share some old footage of my favourite meals. So here I've got some smoked chicken breast that I've just diced up, some salami, some lettuce, some hard boiled eggs, breadsticks, or you can make your own croutons if you like. That's just for simplicity's sake, and some Caesar salad. As I mentioned, this is some old footage, so don't be too stressed about the dates on some of the products. This was when I was at my partner's old place. So there's my quick and easy Caesar salad. These are some of my favorite meals. And as you guys can see here, I'm cooking some chicken thighs off and I don't use any oil when I'm working with chicken thighs because it's quite a fatty meat. I've got some onions, which I've chopped, black beans and some salsa. And if you guys enjoy this type of content, please hit the like button for me and share the video with a friend because it really helps me grow my channel. So as you can see, the chicken's cooking down. I'm going to cook my onions in the chicken fat as well. And I'll also pull out the chicken thighs and dice them up just so it's a little bit easier to eat. And I also seasoned it with a little bit of salt off camera as well. I've also got some minced garlic. I really love my garlic, so I'm generally quite generous with that. Chuck it in, then I add in some smoked paprika, then my black beans. You can use any beans you like, I just prefer these black beans. Mix that through, then I add in the salsa. You can, I think I got the cheapest Coles brand one and I think Sonia mentioned that Audi has a pretty good one as well. So that's kind of the seasoning base for this meal and I like to serve this on top of some white steamed rice. Um, you can put them in little soft taco shells or hard taco shells as well if you like. Or you can even plop it on a bed of lettuce with some cheese and guac. As I said, I've actually served it on some rice, avocado, tomato and sour cream. But you can mix it up, put it on taco shells, put it on lettuce, whatever tickles your fancy. In this next meal, I've got some frozen spring onions that I've pulled out from the freezer. Some banana prawns which I've chopped up lots of minced garlic and some butter and i will also be using some eggs to start off with i've just heated up some butter tossed in the garlic mix that through i actually toss the garlic in cold so it doesn't burn um, and once that's heated up with the butter i toss in my little prawn chunks cook that through then i actually pull out the prawn chunks and put them in the bowl in the meantime as i whisk up my eggs Seasoning wise for the eggs, you can add in whatever you like. I tend to add in a bit of fish sauce, um, salt or even some chicken salt. Then I put in a little bit of oil in the pan and I think I actually topped up some spring onions as well. But you can put that at the end if you like. But because mine were frozen, I prefer to just mix it in with the egg. Um, so I pour the egg in, let it cook a little bit. Then I put the prawns in, pop the lid on and let the um, rest of the egg cook via the steaming process and then I pull it out and that's my prawn and egg omelet in this next meal I've got some pork mince prawns spring onions minced garlic carrot spring onions again and mushrooms to kick start the meal I've got some prawns which I'm cooking in a little bit of oil and I'm pretty sure I ended up tossing in the garlic as well yep as you guys can see there this meal is an Asian inspired meal for and if you don't like prawns, you can replace it with any other protein. I think calamari or mussels would even be nice or even fish chunks. Once I pull the prawns out and put them in a separate bowl, I cook my pork mince and garlic in the exact same pot because there's still flavor in there. Then I add in a bit of oyster sauce and mix that through as well. And once the pork mince is cooked, I actually pull that out as well and put it in a separate bowl. So what I'm doing is kind of cooking different little proteins as my toppings for this meal. Once everything is put together, I'll show you guys what it looks like. In the meantime, I'm gonna start my broth. Again, I'm using that same pot because it's got a lot of flavor. I've added in a, an Asian stock cube, added in some carrots, spring onions, mushrooms, and that's pretty much it for the broth. Noodle wise, I tend to like to use flat rice noodles, but you can use vermicelli noodles as well if you like. Then I just add the pork and prawns on top as my toppings. Okay, I've got another meal here to share with you guys. I've got some pork mince, onions, spring onions, bean sprouts, pho noodles, eggs, carrots, san choy bao, and mushrooms. I've rinsed my bean sprouts, chopped my spring onions, 
pork mince I got from Audi. So I start by sauteing my carrots and onions in a little bit of water. You can use oil if you like. I've got some eggs that I'm whisking up. I add the pork mince back into my onion and carrot mixture and cook that through. Then I add in the spring onions and mushrooms and cook all of that through as well. I'm basically just cooking all of the veggies. The bean sprouts I just add in at the end because it doesn't require as much cooking time. Then I add in my Lee Kum Kee Sancho Bao sauce and that's what I end up with. My little pork mince and veg Sancho Bao concoction. I add in a little bit of oil because I kind of want the flat noodles to toast up a little bit. And I also cook it with some eggs, so I'm kind of doing a take on a pad thai, but not quite. Then I added my meat mixture, and it's as simple as that. Doesn't look super flash hot, but it is really tasty. Okay, this next meal, I've got some capsicum, frozen green beans, carrots, onions, sliced rump, black pepper sauce from the Lee Kum Kee brand and some leftover bean sprouts. So I start by adding a little bit of oil to cook my beef because this is quite a lean cut of beef. Um, and then I pull the beef out so it doesn't overcook and use the beef juices to cook my onions, carrots and capsicum. I tend to cook the onions and carrots first because I like it really soft. Towards the end, I toss in the bean sprouts. Then add the beef back in with the black pepper sauce. This is a super easy meal and it's super tasty. Generally, I serve this on top of some white steamed rice, but you can add it on top of noodles as well. Okay, so this next meal, giving the Asian theme a little bit of a break. I've got some passata, spinach, pasta, cream, onions, garlic, prawns, lemon. I start by adding a little bit of olive oil in the pot, then my onions. Then I saute it until it becomes soft and translucent. Then I add in my other ingredients such as thickened cream. If you want to cut back on the calories a little, you can saute the onions in some water if you like or even use light thickened cream. Um, but as you can see, I'm not calorie conscious in this particular video. I've added in my thickened cream and my cherry tomatoes. I've also added in a lot of spinach. It looks like a lot, but it wilts down to nothing and it's a really nutrient dense veggie, which I love. I've also added in my passata and I'm just going to cook that through for a little bit. Then I added my frozen prawns. I've chosen frozen prawns because they're already peeled and deveined and sometimes you just need a quick and easy meal, especially for during the week. Seasoning wise, I think I used basil and Italian seasoning, but you can use whatever you like. As usual, I don't follow traditional recipes. I kind of just use whatever I have on hand. Once I cut the heat, I actually squeeze some lemon juice. I like to squeeze it into a bowl so it's easier for me to remove the seeds before adding the juice into the rest of the sauce. I find the fresh lemon juice helps brighten up the sauce so the cream's not as heavy. And then I serve this on top of some pasta. This might even be nice on top of some risotto or possibly even rice. If you guys enjoy this type of content, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and maybe even share the video with a friend. Okay, so I've got some beef chunks here and I've actually trimmed off the fat and I'm going to render the fat off so I've got some oil to cook with. So as you can see, it's rendered off and all of that oil I've got, I kind of just scoop out the fat chunks and toss that in the bin. The oil is going to be really handy, which you guys will see later on. Seasoning wise, I've got the beef chunks marinated in some garlic, oyster sauce, fish sauce, sugar and chopped onions this is kind of a vietnamese inspired shaking beef recipe as you can see i've tossed the meat mixture into the beef fat and i'm just going to cook that through quickly as a side for the meal i've just made some tomato eggs as well really simple it's literally just eggs tomato a bit of fish sauce and sugar because it's an asian inspired meal and this is just how i like to do it so here's the finished product i've got my beef got my tomato eggs i've even got some lemon juice and salt and pepper just to dip the beef in on the side that's optional and then i'm just serving it with some simply steamed white rice all right moving on to the next meal i've got some beef mince italian herbs diced tomatoes thickened cream tomato paste chicken stock and some diced capsicum and onions some spinach and some pasta so we're gonna get into another pasta meal as you guys can see Alrighty, to start off, I start to saute my 
onions and capsicum and a little bit of water. The reason why I'm not using oil is because I bought beef mints from Coles, I think, or Woolies. Um, and their beef mints tend to be more fatty and it releases a lot of fat. That's why I don't use oil. So once that's cooked in with my veggies, I add in my canned tomatoes and tomato paste. And I kind of cooked that through. If it's too fatty for you, you can skim out the fat. I've been a bit lazy and I've kind of just left it. I've also added in my chicken stock cubes, as you can see, and my Italian herb mix. Let that simmer down for a couple of minutes before I add in my thickened cream. Now, you can also get light thickened cream as well if you like, but I just prefer the regular full fat thickened cream because I just find it adds more flavor. Sometimes I do adjust the seasonings. As you can see, I've added more salt and Italian herbs. To finish off, I've added in my spinach. Now, I know it looks like a lot, but once it cooks, it wilts down and you barely notice it. The pasta sauce is pretty much done after I add in my little smoked paprika because you know I love my smoked paprika. It adds so much flavor and I love the color. This is the pasta sauce and it pretty much just gets served on any pasta of your choice. Quick and easy and easy to heat up during the week. This next meal is super easy as well. I've got some minced garlic, some onions and some mushrooms and I've got some frozen udon noodles. You can get that at your local Coles or Woolies, I believe, and I think Costco sells it as well. So I start by sauteing my onions and mushroom, and then I add in a little bit of milk to make the sauce. You can use butter as well if you like, but on this day I used milk, tossed in my noodles, and look, you've got a nice mushroom creamy udon noodle. So in this next meal, we're working with the gnocchi, as you can see got some water boiling and then I cook the gnocchi and then strain it and place that to the side whilst I start on the actual sauce. So I've got some chicken thighs here as you guys can see. I don't use any oil when I'm cooking with chicken thigh because it's quite fatty. Once the chicken's cooked I pull it out. I use the chicken fat to saute my onions. Veggie of choice is baby spinach but we're not working with that at this point in time. Once my chicken is chopped up into small little chunks I add it back into the pan with the onions, mix that through season it with a bit of Italian herbs, salt, then I add in the thickened cream, let that simmer for a little bit before I add in my spinach. Now, I normally add garlic in, I don't know why it's not added in this clip, maybe I just didn't see it whilst editing. So I chuck the spinach in, let that wilt, as usual it looks like a lot, but it wilts down to nothing. So I'm also going to add in some parmesan cheese because I find it just adds so much flavour. You can add it in whilst you're making the sauce or you can also add it at the end as well. I tend to add it in both rounds because I love my cheese. So this is what the finished product looks like. So super easy, super delicious. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.